What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. Obviously, I'm not at my office right now. I'm on location in Orange County. I drove my wife up here uh, for an appointment she has for her eyebrows. Uh, she's getting something done, some something for free, so she wanted to do it. And we're doing it, and that's what she's doing. And uh, we've only got one news story today, but it's kind of interesting. And if this camera moves a little bit, I have it on a gorilla pod connected to my steering wheel. So there you go. Anyways, guys, it's all about that Samsung foldable phone. You know, the one that you're going to be able to fold in half. And when you open it up, it'd be nice and big. It looks like DJ Co, CEO of Samsung Mobile, came out and did an interview with CNET saying that it's going to be a foldable phone that is also a tablet that fits in your pocket. And that announcement possibly should be coming next month that has been suggested. So you're looking at November for an announcement of this actual device and probably some, you know, the, exactly how it's gonna look and everything. He also went on to say that while the folded, the device will offer a functionality of a tablet complete with multitasking and a big screen, but can then be folded into a portable phone. That is pretty cool. I'm excited about, you know, having two devices and one. I know you have laptops and tablets. Um, not a huge, huge fan of those generally, uh, but this just seems like it could work. Thinking about something with like, say, I think I have like a seven inch screen and then, you know, folds up into like three and a half inches and but you can still use it full functionality, both sizes. That's awesome. And that's something that I'd be truly interested in trying. The other thing is the rumored price on this thing is supposed to be like, 1500 bucks or slightly more than that and that's not cool that's a very expensive endeavor to jump into especially with a first generation product something that maybe won't sell and maybe will go out of production and they won't support after a year or six months or whatever that's where you're looking at something that's kind of scary for that but i don't think they're going to make a lot of these one of the earlier rumors months ago was that they're not going to make that many and you know, once I guess they sell out, they're done or they'll go to the next generation or something. But usually the cool thing about Samsung is when they make a product, they generally put almost everything into it. Whereas Apple, for, and i not trying to bash Apple, but Apple, when they put a first generation product, they kind of limit it. Look at the Apple Watch, look at the uh, first iPad, the first iPhone, it's usually limited. And then they, as time goes on, they add more and more things. Samsung's usually good about having everything in it all at once. So we'll see what happens with this one, but that is the latest with the Samsung foldable phone and uh, we're probably about a month away before we even know even more. And even before that, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing um, some screenshots, some shots, everything, videos of this thing in action. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, new videos every single day. My question now to you guys is, how do you feel about this device? Are you excited about it? Are you not? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.